Hi everyone, this is Angie Meeker at MyNameIsAngie.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a link on your WordPress website. And by link I mean something that is within the post or the page that you're writing, a word or a phrase that links to something else. And so let's, let's get started. You can see here I'm actually writing the post that will um, contain this video that you're watching. And so let's just type in some text. This uh, is some text that we will link. Now let's say that in this um, post we want to link the word link to a document. And so here's what we need to do. First, we need to upload that document to your WordPress installation. And so the way that I do that, I just go directly to this uh, add an image button and click on that. Then click select file. Then it will bring up, um, this will be a dialog box where you can go to your computer and find the file that you want to upload. And so let me scroll down a little bit. I'll find the one that I want. This is um, a quick uh, white paper on the 10 ways that you, top 10 ways that you can improve your website. Now, what I'm going to do is highlight this link URL. I'll show you two different ways to do it. Highlight this link URL uh, and just copy it. This is one way. And then insert in the post. And right away, it inserted top 10 ways to improve. That's the short version of the title of this document for me. But obviously that's not what we want. We don't want it to say the title of the document that we just uploaded. We want to um, we want to link specific text to that document. So that first way, if you upload an a document just like this if you go to this choice and you select your file this way find it and then click insert into post you can do that but just keep in mind it's going to insert immediately it will insert the uh, title of whatever you just uploaded so here's another way highlight the text this is the way that I actually use the most highlight the text that you want to link and then click this little link button it's a chain link and then the very first field will be link URL. And what I do is I just paste in the URL of that document that I uploaded earlier. Remember when we uploaded it, I said copy this URL and um, we'll need that later. Here's when we needed it. So I pasted it in just now and then I just clicked insert. And you can see it. what it did was it linked the word link to that document. And I'll go ahead and open it in a new tab. The, it's a PDF, so it's going to uh, open as a PDF. So there you go. There's that document that I just linked to. There are other things that you can link to this way. You can link um, to another website. So here's Angie Maker Designs. That's my website design company. And then click Insert. Now this link is going to my website design company, AngieMakerDesigns.com. You can also make this link go to an email address and let me show you how to do that. See when it first says link URL it says HTTP colon backslash backslash. We don't need that. We want to take that away and we want to, here's what we're going to type in very specifically. Mail to, mail to colon the email address. Angie at my name is Angie.com and then enter. Now, when we open this link, or I'm sorry, when we when the site is published and we click on that link, it will pop up a, whatever program you use to send emails, whatever your default program is, it will pop that up. So let me go ahead and publish and then we can take a look at that. Just so that you can see that. Oh, and I didn't put it in the category. Let's see. There we go. How to create links. We'll click into that and then you can see if I click on that link it's going to pop it's going to pop open my um, Microsoft Outlook. Excuse me I'm a little hoarse today so but there you can see it did it. Okay so those are the most basic ways to create links in your website. Give it a try if you have any questions let me know. Again this is Angie at MyNameIsAngie.com and hey be sure to subscribe I have a free video series on how to install WordPress. Thanks.